Okay, yeah. This needs a little more explaining. Touchdown, Thailand. I'm on the island of... Fuck it. No, let's try that again. On the northern coast of Phuket. That's better. The previous day was spent in Bangkok, which turned out to be much more humid and packed than I expected. I'm sweating under everywhere. Dude. I literally spent almost the entire previous day stuck in traffic. But no problem. I'm now on Phuket. I'm chilling on the beach, sipping on drinks with a few friends, wading in the water and soaking in the sun. You know, the usual island activities. But quick as ever, this gets old. The thing is, relaxation isn't really how me and my friends like to travel. Fast forward one hour and a bit of internet surfing later, I found an abandoned resort on the opposite side of the island. This is way too cool of an opportunity to pass up, but we don't have a rental car to get there. There's always a taxi, but we had spent our entire last day cramped in one, and since our time in Thailand was so short, we wanted to make the most out of every minute. No, a taxi would not do. So by now, I'm sure you can guess what we ended up doing. Yeah, mopeds. We decided, hey, we're in a foreign country with completely different terrain. Let's hop on a couple of mopeds and ride over 100 miles round trip to see this abandoned resort. What could possibly go wrong? Well, for one thing, we could get pulled over. You see, we didn't have our international licenses, so if an officer pulled us over, we'd get a fat fine. And we're going, we're going to the opposite side of the island on these things, so it might not be a good idea, but we said, hey, if we get caught, we'll just turn around and we'll go back. No, we won't. We're gonna run. I've watched enough Jason Bourne movies. You just go down alleyways and go down the stairs, and then they can't stop you. We decided to go with Brendan's plan. And so, looking like a couple of touristy frat bros, we tore off in our short shorts and tank tops towards our destination. <laughs> yeah, it took some time for us to get the hang of it, but soon we were out of the main city and in a more rural area. By then all the jitters were out, and we got a truly eye-opening experience. Everything we went by was so raw, so natural, so calming. I felt like I was seeing a side of Thailand that most tourists never see. You know, not the rich resorts with gourmet food. We were seeing the real side of Thailand and experiencing it in a way that you would never understand from the confines of a taxi. Later in the trip, we would go on crazy boat trips and see beaches like I'd never seen before, but I always return to this moment when thinking back to the trip. So we arrived in one piece to the abandoned resort, and I mean, wow. The resort sat on the edge of a jungle overlooking a vast, shallow beach. Most of the structure was still intact, allowing your imagination to kind of fill in the pieces of where things should go. This was the jacuzzi right here, and then around it had to be like a swimming pool that was like an infinity pool that went over right here, and each person was like layered over the edge. You had your bathtub and like your whole room was here, and then uh, down there was like the main swimming pool that everyone had right by the water. This is crazy. You know any history about it? No, I haven't looked up anything. <laughs> Looking into it later, I found out the place was under construction when a tsunami hit the area in 2004. Afterwards, the destruction was so bad that the landowners decided to abandon the project altogether. 14 years later, and the place was crumbling away at the edges. Now, sometimes I worry about becoming an abandoned buildings video guy on YouTube because there's so much more I want to grow into. But I think this story is worth telling because there's a bigger message behind this journey than just a forgotten place. When you go on vacation, you can choose the touristy route. You can lounge by the pool and relax in the sun. That's totally fine. But it's worth sometimes going outside of the world that your resort has built for you, taking that leap and going on that adventure. Some of the best memories come from spontaneous trips off the beaten path.